Hey, hey everyone, Krylopix here. And today I thought I would show you how I've gone from the basic diamond painting tool set to a more advanced tool set. Like it's expanded <laughs> quite a bit, I must say. So everyone is familiar with this. If you do diamond painting, you normally get a tray, the pink pen, and a block of wax. And that's it. And that's great for um, if you're just starting out and for, you know, your first few, your beginners, if you just want to try it out and such, it's a really great kit because that's really all that you need. But as you progress, you find that, you know, it's just not enough and you can't do it for very long. You need to be comfortable. So I wanted to show you, um, first I'll start off with the pens that I use. I started off, instead of using the pink pen, I started using this pick me up pen. And it's very good for round diamonds. It's very comfortable to hold. Um, it's on the inside, it's filled with like a putty. And so you don't have to use the wax, but it still picks up the diamonds and places them quite well. And then it's got another end um, if you want to pick mislaid diamonds or nudge them around a bit. It's got that extra tool in there. It was very good, very handy. And I'm still in love with it. So the next pin that I progressed to was actually this uh, ballpoint conversion pin. Now I will link the tutorial on how to make this down at the bottom, but basically it consists of cutting off the tip of a pink pin, emptying the contents of a ballpoint pin, putting it in there and securing it with hot glue. Very easy to do, very cheap because everybody has like a ballpoint pen laying around, I'm sure. So it was very handy, very easy to do, and it's very good for square diamonds. Better for squares than the pick me up pen, to be honest. So I like that. And then on the Facebook group, everyone was talking about the Stabilo pen, and it looked so comfortable, and everyone said it was comfortable. So I was like, I've got to get it. So finally got it after much waiting. Um, and it's very simple um, way to convert this to a drill pen. Sorry, so I'm just gonna take the lid off. Just normal pink drill pen inside. All you need to do is unscrew it. And yeah, you can see here it's the pink pen and it's just been cut off a bit. So this is what it came with. And the tutorial for this is also gonna be in the description box. This is the original ink cartridge for the Stabilo pen. You just kind of measure it up and cut it just a little bit longer. I find it, it was helpful to cut it a little bit longer than the ink cartridge. That helps prevent it from wobbling. Also, these pink pens really vary in, in quality and size and such, so you still might have to find that you need to adjust it a little bit. But what I've done, I've been lucky, um, and it's quite secure. So yep, screw that back on, and there's no wiggle. And I can also put the lid back on easy easy and it's very comfortable um, it does take a little bit of getting used to depending on how you hold the jewel pin when you're diamond painting but again you know that's just something that you can play with and you should find something that fits your style now this one uh, this is just a cushy pencil grip um, I got this for 50 cents I've seen them in packs of three for like a dollar as well um, but I just want to try one so what I had done was just slipped one of these onto a pink pin just to help with the grip a little bit. It's nice and all, but yeah. And this is probably your cheapest option, this one, if you don't have a glue gun. Also, this one is one of the cheaper options if you do have a glue gun. So there you go. There's so many options available. You don't just have to stick with this and be in pain and only diamond paint for 10 minutes. Because we all know we want to diamond paint 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. <laughs> But yeah, so you don't have to worry about pins being your limitation there. So my next uh, tool set uh, would be diamond storage. Um, so I was using these cups and I recently just changed from these. These cups were great. Um, the only thing is, is that I had to take the lids on and off so many times that the lip here on the cup started breaking off. So I didn't want that to be a problem and it was just getting a little annoying as well trying to find my colors because I did have them written on the top of the lid and I have to sift through my stacks of colors. The more colors you have, the longer it takes and so on and so forth. So I am still using these, but I'm using these to store my spare diamonds now. 
and they sit in a box because I don't have to open them as often they'll sit in the box out of the way so they're very good to have what I've replaced these with for my paintings in progress is the diary storage system and that's this you might have seen this around um, everyone has different storage systems that they like to use I wanted to give this a try because I liked the way the pieces had the grips and the little handles and they came in different sizes and stuff um, so this really uh, attracted me and it's been good so far I've only used it for a little while now though <laughs> but so far so good what I've done is I've put the diamonds in depending on you know how many were left and there's four different sizes in this kit and then I arranged them all in numerical order so it's really easy for me to find it's all in one spot really easy for me to find and pick out the color that I need and just put it back so this has been very helpful so far I'm in love with it I really like this one it just looks so nice and then uh, for the labels here I made a copy of my checklist and then I just cut out the numbers and I used a putty a blue tack to stick them on so that they do come off when I'm done Um, my my next must-have tool and I would say you know not for beginners per se but once you really get into it and invested in diamond painting is a light box definitely gotta have one of these I don't care how good your eyes are it is worthwhile having one of these I mean oh man I can't work on a diamond painting without it now it makes the symbols so clear and so much more enjoyable and you have to crane and bend and everything it's a lot less so it makes things a lot more comfortable this one I got for $20 off of eBay it was very simple quick to use this one only has one light setting which is okay with me I don't care about having the different light settings so I'm very happy with this purchase and it's been lasting for quite a while now so yeah very worthwhile investment here Um, the final bit of my uh, tool set here is upgrading from the normal green tray that you see to this gray tray with a spout. Again, this was sent to me by Debbie and I am so grateful for it because it's been great. It's just incredible to use. Um, the ridges seem to be a bit higher. It could be in my imagination, but that's how I feel when I shake it. A lot of the diamonds tend to be upright. Um, instead of the other way around so and then the spout is very handy for pouring into this uh, storage system these little containers so it's been very good I'm very happy with it it's better than the green trays for me because of the spout <laughs> and that's about it that's all I got that's that's my expanded tool set I mean yeah there's other little bits that you'll use but that's pretty much it <laughs> I and it, I think the pin is, is the most important thing, the pin and the light box. Storage you can get around, um, but yeah, you need to be comfortable, so pick a good pin for you. Whatever works for your budget, whatever works for your diamond laying method, you know, you have so many options. There are even more options than this, and there's a lot of stores that actually sell um, more unique drill pins as well. So yeah, you have so much to pick from, <laughs> but that's it. Let me know um, if there are tools that you can suggest to me. Um, I'm always, I love seeing the tools that people use for their diamond paintings. Um, I have seen easels and such. An easel won't work too well for the video, unfortunately. But easels seem to be very good to have, um, if, especially if you're working on diamond paintings for a long period of time. Um, so yeah, if you've got any suggestions for me, or if you just want to show off your expanded tool set, that would be awesome. So yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. I do hope that you have enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye!